Super fly. Super fly. Super fly. Super fly. Hey everybody. So I am just going to give you guys a video of what it is I use on my hair. Um, all of the products that I have, I kind of just wanted to go through quickly just so you guys have a list of the products that I use. So I'm just going to start off with the oils that I use. I'm going to try to make this video as fast as possible because ain't nobody got time to be here all day. So I bought these oils back when I was in college, <laughs> like um, 2012, 2013. I still have them because I don't use them as often as I used to. Because of get again, I like rotate products, try different things. I used to be a big product junkie, so I used to have way more products than I do have now. Um, so these are all by Via Natural Ultra Care. So I've got a cocoa butter, and these all cost like a dollar forty nine at like one of your local beauty supply stores. Some people say that those don't work. You gotta have to be the judge for yourself. You gotta, you kinda have to be the judge for yourself. This is from the Dark and Lovely All Natural line, and it's from specifically the Moisture Lock line. It's called um, the Soak It Up Cocktail, and it works as a three-part step um, with the Lock It In Sealing Cream and... Um, the leave-in spray, I think it's called like the quench thirst, or sp quench thirst spray or something like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Coconut oil, finally, after being natural for about five years, I finally have a big thing of coconut oil. I used to like go to one of my friends' rooms all the time and like use her coconut oil when I was in college. Um, if you look at the label, it's by Nutrigold. It says organic fair trade certified, which is good. And um, it is raw coconut oil, extra virgin, and it's cold pressed. Anyway, this is 16 ounce. I don't know how much this costs because my mother's friend gave me this. Thank you so much, Miss Tracy. Uh, when I tell you, I one time I did a twist out on my hair and I sprayed some of this on there, and I said my hair was shining like. It looked like, you remember when you were younger and your mama used to take the grease and go like this on your face? That's how I felt after I sprayed this. I liked it because it gave so much shine to it, but it is kind of like, has that like greasy feel to it a little bit when you like touch your neck and stuff. So beware of that. So one of the shampoos that I use is Tresemme Naturals. Um, another shampoo that I do have... I like because it does get your scalp feeling clean, but it does kind of feel like it's stripping your hair. It's the Dark and Lovely All Natural um, Anti Shrinkage Line, or I'm sorry, the Moisture Lock Line, and that is called the Sulfate Free Cleansing Shampoo. Oh, I have a shampoo from Trader Joe's. It's a tea tree shampoo, a pepper, like no, peppermint. It's a peppermint shampoo. It feels so good on my scalp, like it tingles, I love the way it feels. Even with just using the shampoo, like I don't detangle when I use shampoo, but sometimes if I'm really in a rush, I might comb through it a little bit and with the shampoo in there. And um, most natural ones don't do that, you don't comb through your hair while it has shampoo in it, because you know, rips and tangles and all those good things and knots. Yeah. Um, so the conditioners that I use, I swear by this conditioner. This is Giovanni. Love, love, love this. I don't know if you can see the bottom. It says Eco Chic Hair Care. But it is their direct leave-in weightless moisture conditioner. I have to search high and low for this dang on conditioner. Like that's how much I love it. I usually used to get it from Target. They have a store out here in New York called Ricky's. So it originally used to be like 11 or $12, I think, and now they have it for $7.99. But the catch is, like, it's so hard to find it. I can't, it's, I went to Target just a week ago and I could not find that conditioner. So I have to use it sparingly and not, like, run out of it fast until I can find another bottle. Next time, I need to just stock up and get two or three. Another conditioner I do have is the Slick Slick Leave-In Conditioner. This is a part of the anti-shrinkage line as well for Dark and Lovely. 
this conditioner I am not too fond of like because to me when I think of leave-in conditioner I do think of something lightweight but I don't like the way it feels on my hair I so I don't use it as often but when I do use it I try to use it in conjunction with the um the oil the I do the leave-in, I do the oil, and then I do the um, sealing cream, which is supposed to hold the moisture in. And that's an important thing. If you're natural, you should know by now. You need to have a moisturizer, so a leave-in, an oil, and then a conditioner. And you seal all of that together at the end so that your hair stays moisturized. And then you can have your hair on fleek and long hair don't care and all that great stuff. Um... This is the Moisture Lock line, and this is called Deep Conditioning Delight. As you can see, I don't use this often because I don't really deep condition my hair as often as I used to. It does smell really good. It is very thick. Um, the one time that I did use it, I really did like it a lot. So I guess we can just move on to, oh, and then I have this. So y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but when I first went natural, I used to swear by this because the only other detangling conditioner that I used to use was um, uh, Kinky Curly, Not Today. I used to love that and swore by that. I don't buy it as often as I probably should, but bam. Just for me, soft and beautiful, two-in-one conditioning detangler. <laughs> like, I don't ever recall my mom using this on my hair as a kid, but one day, I think I was like super broke and I was in college and I was like, I need some... Something that can, you know, work kind of like the not today and I don't want to spend another like $12. I got this bad boy for like $3. Works wonders. In combination with other products, it does feel a little funky. Like I don't really like the way it feels on my hands after I spray it if I'm using something else or if I haven't washed my hair. It feels better when you wash your hair and then use the detangler, but then at that point it's like, uh, I'm pretty sure I already detangled my hair with conditioner, so, you know. I use it as a pre-poo and a pre-conditioner detangler if my hair is really, like, like right now I'm pretty sure the middle of my hair is a little bit matted, because I, or at least the ends, because it's just in a puff right now. What else do I have in here? I have Miss Jessie's uh, Jelly Soft Curls, which I love, um, it does have kind of a crunch feel to it. Like, it says, for people who want popping curls without the crunch, that's a lie. It definitely has crunch to it when it dries, but I counteract that with, like, a type of oil. I was just telling my friend last night, if you're going to put gel in your hair, you need to have some type of oil to soften it or some type of pomade or something to kind of give it that soft feel after the fact if you, you know, want to have soft popping curls. I have my Dark and Lovely Anti Shrink Inch No Crunch um, Pomade. I like this. I I don't know if you can see how hollow that is. I've been using it. I don't use it as often, but I love the way it smells. It has like this mango smell to it. Yeah, it says mango oil and bamboo milk. It is very soft. It's not sticky. It's just like something nice and light if you want to just kind of like a coconut oil. Nice and light, nothing too greasy. The Easy Twist Gel and Butter, I love this. I love this stuff. If you can see, I've used majority of it. The bottom's all gone. Um, I use it for my twist outs. I, it doesn't give hold, but it does give good definition. And so I need to find a product to use with this and cocktail it so that I can get that hold and that definition at the same time because I have done a twist out with this and it was amazing. That's what it's called though, 10 in 1 style jelly. Gel? Yeah. It's from Dark and Lovely, of course, and it's for that anti-shrinkage line. I have used this on my hair and I have got a really defined twist out. So um, if you do want to see that video where I use these products, I will link it in the bottom. I do have this. I haven't used it yet because I don't ever really blow dry my hair. But I have Carol Daughter's Blow Dry Cream. This was like a little sample I got 
from when I went to something in Atlanta. And I just never even used it, but I've had it all this time. So maybe one day I will use it. In. But those are all my products. And if you guys have any questions, then please let me know and I will answer them as much as I can. I tend to wear my hair like this a lot. It's either an afro or it's up in a pony puff or I'll do a half up, half down. Every now and then I'll do a twist out. I'm just be honest with y'all. I'm a lazy natural. I'm trying to get back on it so that by the end of this year, I can have my bra strap length back and have surpassed. Like it says, it'll tell you on the bottle if you ever 